Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this short video, we're going to talk about the three factors that affect oxygen and their nutritional factors, okay, in the body. So what happens is we have this condition called acidosis. That's uh, different than alkalosis. It means your body's too acid. So the pH is too low. And we're talking about in the blood. Normally, the blood pH should be slightly alkaline. And what happens is the pH goes slightly too low, okay? So we're just talking just small little variations. So when your body is too acid, your breathing is going to be off. You're going to be like, you're going to sigh frequently. You're going to kind of go, just can't get enough air. It's air hunger. That's one of the big symptoms, all right? So what do you do? Basically, very simply, you take calcium magnesium. Take it before bed. Take a little calcium magnesium, boom, corrects the pH. Um, the way you get this condition is actually being in ketosis for a period of time. Now, it's not a bad thing to be in ketosis because you're burning fat, but ketones are acidic. So you always have to offset it by eating more calcium, magnesium. Now, what I do, I consume so much vegetable that I don't have a problem with a loss of calcium. Okay, Or I might do some cheese on a regular basis at night. Um, but just realize if your breathing is off, you need to... Uh, alkalize your body with alkaline minerals, vegetables, or calcium magnesium would be the best thing. All right. Another way to know that you need calcium is, or magnesium is if you have cramps in your calves. Okay. So that's acidosis. And secondly, vitamin C deficiencies. Vitamin C is stored in your adrenal glands, and vitamin C allows your body to hold oxygen in the body longer and better. And so with the vitamin C deficiency, you won't be able to hold your breath very long, okay? You will not be able to, um, you're gonna get out of breath when you climb stairs fast. Your muscles will fatigue faster without vitamin C, especially if you're going up an incline, like your legs are heavier. Um, but mainly, uh, you can't hold your breath for a long period of time. That's an adrenal problem, but see, the adrenal uh, stores vitamin C, so you just don't have enough vitamin C to store it, so it drops out and you have oxygen problems. Mainly shows up incline, walking upstairs, out of breath, you know, that type of thing, all right? Just make sure that when you take vitamin C, you always take it from a food concentrate. Don't take it from some synthetic pill because the, the type of vitamin C you're getting from synthetics are just ascorbic acid, and that's just one little piece of the vitamin C complex. You need the whole vitamin C complex. So I like to get it from food base. Um, a good source would be the wheatgrass juice powder. That actually provides the full vitamin C complex. Then we get to vitamin E. Vitamin E deficiencies will create problems with high altitude breathing problems. At the top of every mountaintop, you will see empty bottles of vitamin E because mountain climbers consume a lot of vitamin E to help them climb higher and be able to survive at higher altitudes. So if you're deficient in vitamin E, the muscle tissue in your heart will demand so much more oxygen, you'll start getting cramping of the muscles in the heart. And so like angina pain, chest pain, is really a vitamin E deficiency. So vitamin E provides the oxygen to the muscle tissue. If, you're, if you have muscle damage from an injury, you need vitamin E. Uh, so vitamin E is really important in recovering muscle tissue and increasing oxygenation of the muscle itself and the heart, all right? Uh, where do you get vitamin E? You get it from uh, raw nuts. You get it from the vegetables. You get it from avocados, okay? That's what you get. You, you get it from a lot of, um, um, you can get it from basically seeds, nuts, vegetables, things like that, all right? So, those are the three factors that you want to look at if you want to increase your oxygen carrying capacity, and I will see you in the next video.